Okay, we're now going to look at how to find missing sides from right angle triangles using trigonometry. Um, before you watch this video, watch the video, definitely watch the video, Trigonometry Introduction, to find out all the different things that I'm going to be talking about, how to label sides, and uh, old angels, that sort of thing. Okay, so here we've got a right angle triangle and we want to find the height. We've been given a, a, a length of one of the sides and we've been given an angle. Therefore, we know it's going to be a trigonometry question because it's a right angle triangle. It's got an angle and a side, and you're trying to find the number side. If it was two sides and trying to find the third side without the angles above, then that would be Pythagoras, but this is a trigonometry question. So, first thing you should do always is label the sides. So, the side opposite the right angle is called the hypotenuse. The side opposite the angle is called the opposite. And the side that is left over is then called the adjacent. Okay, so we've got the opposite, the hypotenuse, and the adjacent. Next step cross out the side that hasn't been given or hasn't been asked for. So notice the adjacent has been given to you. Okay. Notice the opposite is the one opposite the angle and it's the one that's got the X beside it. That means that it's wanted. Okay. And the hypotenuse hasn't been given and it hasn't been asked for. Okay. So we can cross this off. If you've got a right angle triangle where you know two of the sides and you want to find the other one, you could use Pythagoras or you know you could just use one of the sides and cross off one of the ones that you don't need. But here we've been given one of them We've been trying to find the other one, so we're using the opposite and the adjacent here. Next, draw your two old angels triangles. So two old angels skipped over heaven, carrying a harp. Whenever you're just beginning to do these, or do, whenever you first begin to do these trigonometry questions, I would draw all of them. As you get better, you'll be able to select which one you want straight away. So, notice we've crossed off the, the hypotenuse, so we don't want any triangle that's got a H in it. So we don't want to use this triangle, it's got a H in it, and we don't want to use this triangle. It's got a H in it. So we're going to use this, two old angels. Okay? So. So this is the triangle we're going to use, two old angels. Okay? Now, like the speed distance time triangles, you cover up what you're looking for. So we're looking for the opposite. So you cover up the opposite, and you're going to do tan T, tan Vita, always followed up with your Vita, times the adjacent. So opposite equals tan times adjacent. Okay? Because you're covering up the opposite, and you're going to do the tan times the adjacent. If you were looking for the adjacent, you would do opposite divided by tan. If you're looking for tan, you would do opposite divided by adjacent. But we're looking for the opposite in this question because it's got the x beside it, so we're doing tan times adjacent. Okay, so the opposite is there going to be tan vita times adjacent. So tan vita, vita is your angle, so you get tan 63 times the adjacent, and the adjacent was 7. So then you just get your scientific calculator and you type that into your scientific calculator. So we're going to do tan 63, make sure you close brackets on that, times by 7. And you get 13.738, so on. Okay, so you write down equals and you write down that calculator display. So you can just write down 13.738, uh, do some dots to show it goes on, then you could round it to 13.7 centimeters okay so we've worked out the length for the opposite so just to recap the steps label the sides find out cross off the side that you you don't need or haven't been given work out which triangle you need to use and then cover up what you want and then just use the formula let's have a look at another example okay so we've got another trigonometry question you can tell it's a trigonometry question because again it's a right angle triangle you have one side and one angle and you're trying to find another side so, again, label the sides. So the one opposite the right angle is called the hypotenuse. The one opposite the angle is called the opposite. And the one left is called the adjacent. Okay? Step two, cross off the side that hasn't been given and hasn't been asked for. The hypotenuse is asked for, the opposite is given, and the adjacent hasn't been asked for and hasn't been given, so we can just cross it off. So we want a triangle that's got O and H but no A. So get your triangles as you're beginning, you have them all down. We don't want any triangle with an A in it, we want one with an O and an H. So that one's got an A in it, cross it off. That one here is uh, the cos, uh, carrying a help, cos triangle's got an A in it. So we're left with the skipped over heaven, sign opposite and hypotenuse. So we're going to use this triangle here. Okay, so. So we've been asked to find the hypotenuse this time. So cover up the hypotenuse and write down hypotenuse equals, we've got opposite divided by sine vita. 
opposite divided by sine. If one letter is above the other letter, you're going to divide. Okay, so we've got opposite divided by sine Vita. Whenever you have the sign the cause of the tan, make sure you always follow it up with a Vita afterwards, okay? So to get the hypotenuse, hypotenuse, we're going to do opposite, which is 3, divided by the sign of 41. So you just type that into your calculator. So you do on your calculator, you do 3, divided by the sign of 41, close brackets, and you get your answer, which equals 4, right over here actually, just to make sure you can see it, equals 4.5727, and let's just round it to 4.57 centimetres. Okay, so again what we've done was label the sides, crossed off the side that we didn't need, use that triangle, and then just substitute the numbers into the formula. Let's have a look at one last example. Okay, and here's our last example. Uh, we've been asked to find uh, this uh, height of this triangle. We know it's a right angle triangle. We've got an angle and a side. We're trying to find another side, so therefore it's a trigonometry question. First step, label the sides. The one opposite the right angle is called the hypotenuse. The one opposite the angle is called the opposite. And the other side then is called the adjacent. Step two, cross off the side that hasn't been asked for and hasn't been given. So we've been given the hypotenuse, we want to find the adjacent, so we're going to cross off the opposite. And then uh, find, we don't want to find the opposite, so cross off any triangle with an O in it. So we don't want the two old angels, we don't want the skipped over heaven, so we're going to use the carrying A harp. It's got the A and the H, but no O. Okay, so just get that triangle. Okay, so... Now, we're trying to find in this question the adjacent, it's the one with the x beside it, so we cover up the a. So we write adjacent equals cos vita, so cos vita, always follow up your cos or your sine with a vita, times by the hypotenuse h. Remember we're multiplying because they're on the same level as each other. Okay, so now let's put our numbers in, so that equals cos Vita, Vita is 52 degrees, the angle, times by, make sure you put brackets on that, the hypotenuse, which is 14. Okay, so then just simply type that into your calculator. So it's going to be cos 54, 52, sorry. Make sure you close your brackets, and then times 14 equals 8.6192, so on, and let's just round it, 8.62 centimetres to two decimal places.